हेलो खास खास Hey Zika, just got the stream on. <laughs> so I can't talk too much yet. See you soon. Okay. Hello, Zico. Uh, yeah. Hello. I, I just woke up.
Hello everyone, welcome to the third Asia Solo Tournament, the Smell Break, the game we all know and love. <laughs> Maybe not the game we all know. We'd love to have a lot more players in the game, but it's the game we all love, and that's the reason we have come together today. Uh, the Asia server, it's not as big as the other servers, but we have some of the best players in the world. and as you can see in the players list up on the screen, um, it's it's interesting <laughs> the countries that they're from. We've got Australia, Japan, and China really representing. Uh, we'll get to that uh, a bit later. Introduce the players, but uh, before that, just want to thank everyone for coming to the stream and watching and supporting our players. Uh, yeah, as I said, we all love this game and just these community tournaments. Uh, it's it's just a fun time to come together and celebrate these good players. And, you know, also hopefully a few people out there that aren't playing the game will come and watch and we'll see and we'll see just how great the game can be. So, anyway, you're uh, in for a treat today. We've got three games. It's so yeah, three games and it's, there's going to be a short break between the second game and uh, yeah, the the point system is a little bit different from what it's used to be. We're including the damage. Uh, if anyone's uh, familiar with the Gauntlet tournaments, we basically borrowed their point system. So yeah. The players are just about the players are just about ready. So while we wait for them, let's do it. Let's go through the player list. Uh, at the top, we've got Miss Zero from Australia. Now, Miss Zero, I think I think I kind of twisted her arm into joining today. She <laughs> she's a competitive player. Make no doubt about that. But yeah. <laughs> Every time these tournaments come up, you kind of have to twist around and say, come on, Miss Zero, come, represent. So I'm so glad she's here, because she is one of the top players. If anyone that sees her, have seen her stream, they can attest to that. So she's going to be, she's going to be one to watch, that's for sure. But she's against uh, stiff competition, especially in the other Australian players. We've got Nave Slays and Full Metal. Now, Nave Slays is kind of new to the scene. But he has been ripping up the lobbies of late, so he's he's kind of he's kind of a dark horse today. It's going to be interesting to see how he goes up against this this stellar lineup. And the other Australian is Full Metal. I think everyone knows Full Metal. He's been a he's been a big presence in the scene. And yeah, he streams. He's constantly putting out content, comments on Red Edit. He's been a real Pillar of the community, I think. It's really great to see him here. And I know in terms of skill level, he's been putting in the hours of late. He's been grinding lately. He's probably, I don't know, the man to watch, I think. I think oh. he's, hey, Metal. He might really be the one to watch. Might take us home. Chinese players, we got Zico. Zico is the beast of China. He is known for his Keymaster skin, just to destroy lobbies. And he's brought two of his friends. Uh, the one underneath him there is the Dark Master of the Wind and and, and Rain, I think was the translation. <laughs> uh, and his friend there is Kui uh, Mi Jun. Don't know these players. Again, kind of uh, not sure how it's going to go, but let's cheer them on. Hopefully they do their best. The tournament's kicking off at 10 so in about five minutes it i mean as soon as the players are ready the players are just about all here so it'll be starting very soon see in chat we've already got some fans of miss zero now on the right side here we've got oval teen ostrich from america this is awesome we got some players from america coming in he's going to test his luck against the asian players wish him luck and then we'll go down to Blue Mortal from India. Again, he's fairly well known. He's 
come back after a little break. So it's going to be interesting to see if he if he can, yeah, pull out some of his previous form and hopefully get some wins. And then the Japanese players. Uh, and for some reason, this game is popular in Japan, and these are the players that have been really uh, pulling this scene along. They've been really, you know, they've been kind of inspiring each other, and the player level is amazing. Al Neko is probably the one everyone knows. He's going to be the one to watch again. Probably he in full medal, I'd say, going to be one and two, but, you know, surprises can happen. Uh, Petju and Ma, they're often seen together. <laughs> Those two, yeah. They have some rivalry, but as I said, they're like best friends, but there's also a rivalry there. It'll be interesting to see how they play against each other. And last but not least, a Chunsuke. He was, he was kind of taunted, he was kind of uh, held up as like the Aoneko successor when he first started. He really came onto the scene quickly and he was rivaling Aoneko a lot of the times. Now he is coming back from a break as well, so we shall see how he goes. So that is the player list. We're hoping to get some more players. I'm sure, as I said, there seems to be a lot of people coming back. And hopefully, as a trend that keeps coming, more and more players hopefully keep coming back. Nice. All right. So uh, now today I am your commentator, Takasan. I. I'm, uh, I guess I could say, you could say I'm a leader of the Japanese scene. I'm Australian originally, living in Japan. I'm a really casual player, so I, so I apologize in advance for the commentary. Uh, but yeah, stay with us, enjoy the games, and let's have some fun tonight. All right, now let's see if the players are ready. It looks like most of them are. So let's jump into some games, guys. Now, it is a one-man team for me tonight, so it might be kind of weird. Some weird back and forths, but stay with us and let's see how this goes. All right, everyone. Is everyone here? Mm -hmm. Zero is here. Nice. Our Neko is here. Zico is here. Zico, Hello. hey, are your, are your friends ready? Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Full medals here. See if we can get a. Oh, a second ago. He was all right. How about Lon Mize? Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. I was just muted. Ah, full medal, nice. <laughs> okay. Mize is here, nice. Ma, you're here. Hi. <laughs> great, great. E hand you just. All right. Pet you. Are you here? Yes. Awesome. And the uh, Oval Oval Ostrich, are you here? Yep, I'm here. That's why I say your name, Oval Latine. Ovulate and ostrich. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Ovulate and ostrich, all right. You're making me say Thank that. You, Brian. Awesome. So I think what is it, Blue Mortal is the only one we're missing? Blue Mortal Sanga in I color. Nate Chunsuke, thank you. All right. Maybe he's here. Just add him to join the the voice, or maybe do it just at the server to let us know we're starting now. True. Thank you. Uh, thank general. You boys. <laughs> All right. Adding Chunsuke. Maybe red. Blue. No. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> you're going down, boy. Ah, uh, name slays. You're here. Awesome. All right, just waiting on two players, Chinsuke and Blue Mortal. Once they're here, we can get some games started. Uh, I guess while they're not here, I'll just go through the rules quickly. All right, so the rules, it's its nothing nothing difficult. It's just solos today. So uh, just make sure streamer mode is off. It's so off. Off streamer mode, please turn off. Right. And if you are streaming this event, just make sure you've got a three-minute delay. Yeah, I'm not streaming this. Not streaming? Ah, oh, it's a shame. I want to win. Yeah. <laughs> no distractions. There we go. 
All right, and the the point system has changed. The point system uh -huh. includes damage as well. Oh. So you need two screenshots. You need a screenshot. I'll record it. Yeah. Yeah. So, Zico, do you know this? You need two screenshots. One for your placement. Yes. One for your no, damage. No, no, Okay. Awesome. Just make sure there's two screenshots. Otherwise, you won't get all your points. And yep, screenshots just go in the in the channel above this channel, the post game screenshots. A. Now it is just me today, so um, after the second game, there'll be a ten minute break where I can calculate the scores. The uh -huh. and then you can get into the third game and hopefully know your current position, and then we'll go on from there. Now after okay. the. After the third game, there will be just a fun custom game, just a frost only game to decide the frost master. <laughs> okay. And this is just a fun event, just to have a nice wind out after the real event and also give me some time to calculate the scores. Okay. All right. That's it. Any questions? Nope. Awesome. All right. Jat Nihongo no ho no setsume ni maidimasu. ま、今日ソードなんですので、ルールがたくさんありません。まずはストリームモードを必ずオフにしてください。はい。ありがとう。あと、え、どうしたっけ?もし配信してイルバイ、あの、ディレイ遅れ3分遅れつけて配信してください
All right, good luck, everyone. We've got one minute till it starts, so you can stay here and mute yourself or leave after the game finishes. Come back here. Yeah, we'll do. All right, best of luck, everybody. All right, good luck. Good luck. Go. All right. Woo! <laughs> All right, everyone, the game is starting. As I said, it's a one-man show tonight, so I apologize for if it's a bit amateurish. I mean, <laughs> it is amateur. I shouldn't say that it's a bad thing. But yeah, let's enjoy these games. As I said, we got some of the best. As you heard from the comments there, you can see Full Metal. He's full of confidence. He's really... He's, he's really going to be the one to watch, I think. But as I said, these are all good players. And especially the Japanese players are. I mean, just, I don't know, the skill level. I mean, in terms of skill level, it's Zico, Full Metal, Al Neko are probably the best. But just in terms of fighting and tactics, I mean... It's such a diverse group of players, especially amongst the Japanese players. There's Petru who will like to hide and and just just choose the timing of the fights. Like that's what he's really good at. Just to not just running ahead. He's really good at choosing his fights. But then there's Ma who'll just snipe you from across. Blonde Mines is probably the same. He's a great sniper. It would be good to see if we get some snipes coming. In. All right, so here we go. We've got a 13-man lobby. There might be one or two randoms in here, but I mean, randoms count towards his kill score at the end of the day, so <laughs> I'm sure they're not complaining. So we're watching Chunsuke here, one of the Japanese players, and he is running Pyromancer. So just in the beginning of the game here, while we're in a bit of a lull. Let's see this kind of classes that are being chosen. Here's Al Neko. Now this is interesting. He's running. He's running the lightning class. He's running conduit. Now he has been consistently running Tempest. I don't think I've seen a game of him not running Tempest recently. But for the tournament here, he's running lightning. Has he been hiding this? Has he been hiding his strats? This is a real possibility because in Asia he's always seen playing Tempest. Maybe he's been training off an NA playing Conduit. This is interesting. See, oh, hang on. We got Ma getting a kill. I don't think it's a tournament player, but I don't think this is a tournament player. Right, so we've got two, maybe randoms. One's already taken out by Ma. That's good for Ma. Alright. <laughs> All right, blue models in the chat saying he'll join us for the second game. Here we've got Knave Slays. He's playing the Tempest. And if anyone's been in the Asian lobbies of late, you would have seen this name. He and he's really good at Tempest, and the way he uses it is to get up high. He always uses the height to his advantage. Buildings and the height, and he'll just snipe you from above. And he's already got that shadow step, so he's got all the tools he needs now. You can see in his left hand, he's got the frost. And he's got the wind in his right. He is right at home. This is his favourite build. It's going to be hard to stop him, I think. Alright, <laughs> all right, he, doesn't, he doesn't have that skill yet. I don't think <laughs> he realised that. Hit himself with his own tornado. That was good. I'm glad we got to see that. Alright, here's another random. So we've got a few randoms in the lobby, this is great. What's Full Metal playing here? Full Metal's playing Tempest. So you see how Tempest is popular. It's going to be interesting if Al Neko's choice to not run Tempest will come back and bite him on the butt. It's going to be interesting to see. Now Full Metal, he's the same here. He's got Frost on his left. But Full Metal is known for playing 
a variety of gauntlets. He he actually put out a YouTube video on how to run, how to play the Tempest Blast, and in that he said that four gauntlets is kind of the best for Tempest, just so you have the the combination of the tornado and like poison. And then you've got the fire for the mid range, and then you have the ice for the long range. He he recommended that that build, and you can see now he's got fire, he's got ice, and he's got wind. So he's got the ingredients there to fight however he wants. Now it is a 12 man lobby, so there's not a lot of action at the beginning here. And this is classic Fetchusan. This is classic Fetchusan. He's Camouflaging himself. He probably chose this skin because it's the most camouflaged. That's just how he plays. He wins by any means available to him. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong against that. Look at that. Does he see someone? I wonder if he sees someone and that's why he's hiding here. Just looking at his gauntlets. They don't seem to be. I think he still has, and he still has green boots. So, if he was able to, he still should be looking for items. I wonder if he sees someone. He's just backing off. He probably was, and he made sure they went the other way. And now he's back on the trail of items. All right, here's Ma. No, Ma. Ma got the only kill so far on a random. <laughs> so that's good to see. He's already got some points on the board. And he is an aggressive player. It makes it doesn't surprise me in the least that he was the one that got that kill because he is so aggressive. He will actively look out for fights and he will actively look out for a weakness, for a moment of weakness. And that's when he that's when he strikes. Look around it. Londomize. Now he's a player that we haven't seen much of late. Oh, hang on. This has been popped. This mana vault has been popped, I think. No? Okay, no it hasn't. So he's the first to do it, okay. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Miss Zero. Miss Zero's in the queue field. She's been taken out. She's been taken out. What is this? This must be one of Zico's friends. I apologize. This must be one of Zico's friends, the Chinese players. Oh, and here he's going for another kill. He gets the ice, but he misses right from on top. The poison immediately switches to the poison, tries to engage, but the opponent pulls back and he's got the fire for the mid range here. Now it's fire versus poison, and he's at a disadvantage. He tries to pull back far enough to get the ice, and the opponent now is at a good range for fire and just peppering him with fireballs. And look at that play. He gets the fireball to help him, and this Chinese player couldn't do much. He threw a toxic cloud in there, but it wasn't really effective. Now both players still have a fair bit of health. Let's see how they play this. They're making a lot of noise. If they keep at this, other players will come. And you can see that they both realize this and they just take a step back. Oh, but no they don't. Hang on. It's, it's back on. It's back on. What was that? Well, that was a bit weird, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. Look at that. Poison to disengage. You get some distance. He switches to fire now. Now back to ice. Now he's got the distance. Let's see if he can land the skill shot. He doesn't, but he is pulling out of here using the toxic cloud just to get some more distance. This player must be a lot more comfortable on the ice. Oh, hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, we're missing this battle of the century between Chunsuke and Ma. This is sad. Oh, I would have loved to have seen that, but now there are fights happening everywhere. Let's watch ovulating ostrich here because he's got company. He must be he's the player playing against the Chinese player here. He is down on armor. He is only at 80 health. Let's see what his opponent at. Trying to pepper him with toxic, but can't get the damage. Just can't. The damage isn't landing him. He is now getting whittled down, down to 64. And he is not looking good. The opponent still has armor. He lands some great fireballs. And look at that verticality getting up and above and landing some shots. But he is only at 22. And the opponent is lining up, but is this a third party? This is a third party! This is a third party! There are multiple people in this fight! This is giving Ovulating Ostrich a chance here! Oh, that fireball! That fireball hit, I'm sure, but it didn't register, and now we've got him, this Hunter Hunter up, trying to dodge these six sprays! There is too many, there is too many, it's Lon Mize, the third player that comes in and gets the kill, using that toxic cloud to immediately get out of there as well. Oh, okay, we got a moment of visual rending. 
not happening there. All right, that was, as I said, if you're fighting at this level, other people will come quickly trying to get a third party, and that's exactly what Lon Myers did there to get the kill. Now we have some sounds in the distance. Let's see if there is actually happening anywhere else. It's the boy Zuko. He's running Toxicologist as well. And, but, oh, look at that. Poison right to the face, but the opponent was the one biting it. And now he uses his dash just to get a bit of positioning, but now he's running. He's showing his back, but immediately with the poison, with the Toxic Cloud, he's able to get enough distance to pop a potion. Who is he? Who is he up against? Is it Chunsuke? I don't think it is. Is it Aoneko? Aoneko is down. It is! <gasps> Aoneko versus Zico. Let's stay with this fight. Aoneko found Zico, and Zico seemed to be the one that pulled out. But this is interesting. Aoneko is not chasing. I think he knows that it was Zico, and maybe at this point in time he doesn't want to fight. Because Zico, as I was saying, is one of the best players at this point of the game. They don't want to be fighting each other. All right. Let's see who else is fighting at the moment. Knave Slays doesn't see anybody at the moment, but there is fighting our Chinese player, Gui Hee Hee. Oh, Lord Maze is in the kill feed again. Let's try and find some fighting. And that's Full Metal. Full Metal is in battle here. We are not sure who is he up against, but he is down in armor. But there we go. Uses the tornado to get up, but it's dangerous. Oh, he nearly copped the Ice Lance right there. That was dangerous play. And shot his back like that against the skilled Ice Plate is. He was lucky to get away there, but he does. Oh, but you can see the opponent is now chasing and switches to fire immediately, trying to get the mid-range fight there, but he can't. The damage isn't sticking. Switching to ice now, you can see just how comfortable these guys are on ice lamps. But again, the opponent, look at that movement. They're just not staying in, the, in front of the players. This just damage is so hard to stick at this high level here. But look at that. Look at that use of the poison cloud to instantly just... Get out of the way of what Full Metal's trying to do. Full Metal just can't see him. Full Metal can't see him, can't hit him. But you can see he's kind of worried here. He's just keep trying to stay up as high as he can to try and not get hit. But he is having a hard time. Oh, look at that! Look at that use of... Was it Shadow Step to come up that close? I'm scaring Full Metal. This is amazing. This is amazing skill from this player. Let's see, I'm pretty sure it's Lon Maze. Let's see if we can get Lon Maze. This point of view in this fight. It is. Now Lon Mace has a bit of health, he has a bit of armor. This is a pretty even fight here. Now you can see the Shadow Step. He's got multiple charges of Shadow Step here, and that's what he's using. That in combination with the Toxic Cloud to just bamboozle Full Metal. Oh, but you can see the damage there from the Toxic Cloud. We're very wary of it there. And as soon as he is in a bit of a disadvantage, he's able to disengage with Toxic Cloud. Or with Shadow Step. Lon Mace is at the advantage here, I think, but... Both of them are really low damage. Oh, the Fireball versus the Ice Lance, neither hit. They're both risking it here. Oh, Full Metal got the high advantage, but now Lord Mace is immediately up, and from above, can he land some damage? The matter. He was out of matter when he had a great shot with the other tech. But no! Oh, it's Full Metal with the kill! The back and forth was amazing there, Full Metal. But <laughs> oh no! The third party from our Chinese player! The full metal, full metal taken out. The third party Chinese player. You can't, you can't say anything against him. But that kind of hurt to watch. All right, now here's Zico. He sees people fighting, and from above, he's just raiding down toxic, down on them. But now he has become the target of the attack, and someone is chasing him. Someone is chasing him. Oh, but he manages to shake him, does he? Okay, interesting. Okay, so they're just leaving Zico up here. This is really dangerous. Zico might have hit himself there, but no one saw that. Alright, so Zico is being left alone. Let's see who are the ones fighting. Oh, no, it's Chinsuke. Chinsuke must have seen Zico, and now Chinsuke is chasing Zico, but Zico is already out of there. Okay. Down on the ground. Al Neko is down on the ground. And you can see these two fighting. Al Neko is down on armor. Who is he fighting here? Oh, he's the Chrono Master. He's using Conduit and Chrono Master. And look at that damage! Oh my god, he just slams this right in the face. And now he is the one with the upper seat. The opponent only has a smidgen of life left. Can Alneko land that last hit while still staying alive from the possible third parties here? Oh, oh no, he sees a tag with a lot of armor. How is he going to play this? He has very little armor, very little life left. He, oh, he hits the lightning bolt and he keeps hitting it. And the Chrono Master back. Look at him just being able to stay in the box seat here, in the advantage, peppering people while not getting hit. Now he is so low, but he is so low, but just 
Just the AoE is just getting him from the fireballs and he is taken out by Jinsuke. What a fight. What a fight. Now we are down to only three. We are down to only three. Jinsuke is very low. We he he. He is. Look at him. He finds a great spot. He finds a great spot to fill up. Zico, he has armor and health too, but it's only Chunsuke that is in trouble. Let's see if Chunsuke can find somewhere to hide and to heal up. But he's got no potions. Oh my god. He's got no potions, no armor shot. How does he play this? The two Chinese players are almost full of health and armor. He's gonna want them to fight against each other. But he knows he doesn't. He doesn't play passively, he shows himself. But now he's got a wall, the damage! He put up a firewall and then got hit by the poised toxic cloud coming in. Now we've got the two Chinese players, uh, Zico and Weehee. Let's see how this fight goes. The toxicologist Zico. He is known for his toxicologist play, just being able to get in your face, to not be hittable. Let's see if he can be hit. Oh, look at that fireball, that mid range fireball in the air. The opponent, just as he pops up, gets hit with it. Just that prediction of Zico is amazing. And look at that, he's just using that poison cloud just to give his opponent nowhere to run. Nowhere to run. He cops a fireball there and he is very low. This is so close. He's very low. He's being peppered now with toxic spray as well. And it's going to be the one last hit. It is. Oh, it's Wee He He gets the kill on Zico and he is gone. Wee He He with the win. Nice. That was insane. That play. So who was Uwu? Hi, hi. Hi. Was left. Oh, no, ah, I just did. finished. Hey everyone, who who is this wee he he guy? Is he one of your friends ago? <laughs> yeah, surely. He must be. He's either the Kui uh, Wee Jun or the Master of Dark Master of Wind and Wind and Storm. Let's just get <laughs> Zico back so we can confirm, confirm that. Oh, no, I'm still so asleep. Yep, oh, blue model, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> I fell asleep. Ah, that's what you wanted, the class master gain. I, I recorded it so it'll, I can go get it, but I was confused about this. That, okay, damage score. Okay, uh, yeah. I'll get it after. Or I can, I'll get it right now, if you want. My apologies. Okay. Yeah, anytime's good. All right, I'll just, I'll just give it to you after, if that's right. Awesome, awesome. Alright, damage, so yeah, the screen with your damage, and the screen with your placement, so yeah. Uh-huh. Just a tick, just, uh, Zico said, I'm going to be able to get the name of the player, and I'm going to be able to get the name of the player. Zico, are you there? Oh yes. So we he he. Which which player is he? I don't I don't know. I don't know who is he. Hey, you don't know oh. him. We thought you yes. knew. Him. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> I've never seen him on Asia before. I've never he seen him. Either. So are your are your friends in the lobby, Zico, or your other two friends in the lobby? Yes, I. Uh... I'm uploading their uh, screenshot. Oh, Sorry, thank wait. you. Wait for thank some... you. So is it that guy just not in the tournament? <laughs> He's not in the tournament, apparently. Wow. Why play then? <laughs> oh, whatever. That's fine. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, oh. All right. So blue model, just so you, just so you're aware, just make sure you got streamer mode off. And uh, yeah, I don't have that. Awesome. And for your screenshots, just we need two screenshots, one with your placement and one with your damage. Yeah, okay. <sighs> All right. Uh, if everyone's ready, we can get into game two. Is everyone okay? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mina Junbi. できたでしょうか。第二試合に行っちゃっても大丈夫かな。Are we queuing up? Just asking the Japanese guys. 
Okay. But yeah, the I'll just remind me after the second round, and I'll go back and I'll get that um other screenshot. Awesome, awesome. I'm hot in school. But just wait, please. Everyone, get up. 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 All right, so everyone's ready. Let's jump in. All right, じゃあロビー入りましょう Fifty seconds. Hop in, boys. Yeah. Okay. Best of luck, everybody. 今十四人 Okay, 十五はい五人みんな入ってくださいロビーあと三十秒十七 Are we going to start? <laughs> Ah. And that's a snipe. Nah, nah, more people to kill or something. <laughs> Best luck, everybody. I know. E-voice player. I tweeted that, but it's not Heiji. Heiji? Heiji. 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 <laughs> oh, okay, good luck, everybody. Okay, okay, everyone, game two. I think our tournament's getting sniped. <laughs> We have a 17 people lobby with only about 10 participants. And as you saw in that last game, one of them is a beast. All right, but we will sh we shall continue. We shall continue. The the show goes on. Let's see how this goes. Let's see if the players can show what they're made of. <laughs> It is weird that this is happening because Solo Asia just about never has lobbies. But、uh, it is a Saturday night, so let's say. All right. So game two, as we saw in the last game, it was、uh, it was Zico, who out of the participants got the top placing in Chunsuke, and the other Chinese player, I want to say, might not even be Chinese now if it wasn't a friend of Zico's. So. But now we've got a 15 people lobby. We might be seeing battles a lot earlier on. All right, let's have a look at Mister. She's running the conduit. Conduit. It's a thing. Okay. Now conduit is said to be a, a class for、uh, high-level players. Only high-level players can get the most out of it. So it'll be interesting to see how these players use it. I mean, with shadow step. And hitting that lightning bolt, you can get a lot of movement. You can really bamboozle your opponent. So hopefully we can see a battle. I can see Miss Zero. She's already she's upgraded the stone. She doesn't have the upgrade to the lightning yet. It always hurts when this happens when you've got some good upgrades, but just not to your your chosen class gauntlet. All right, let's move around a bit. Full metal. He showed us some great fights in the last in the last game. He's sticking with Tempest, and he's got his ice already. So again, sticking with what he knows. We he he he's in this lobby again. So I don't know. This is interesting. Should we watch him? <laughs> he took out the best in Asia. It'll be interesting if we could find out his true identity. Right, looks like there might be battles happening. Populating Australia, American player. Looks like he's up in the corner of the map. Blue model is taken out by E Boy Slayer, a non-participant. Oh no! Our tournament is getting sniped. Petu doesn't seem to be around people. He's running Tempest as well, so this will be interesting. Here's our boy Zico, toxicologist, the master toxicologist. You can just see the way he was playing in that last game. How he's he's using the clouds for both engagement and for disengagement. When he gets that upgrade, the last skill where you get three poison clouds coming up, it's just so hard, so hard to position yourself. 
Oh, it seems like Mar is in a fight. Mar is in a fight here. He's using Tempest to get up to high. But he's getting sniped, is he? He's getting sniped. And the opponent is chasing him. You can see the Shadow Step. Chase him. And now he's just batting around this narrow tower. Look at that. The fireball from midair. Oh, he's got teleportation. He's out of there. And again, immediately up to high ground. Trying to get the jump on his opponent. Let's see if the opponent followed him. Because that was a really nice move from Mar to get out of a tricky situation. He's got no armor. So he might just... Yeah, he might just pull out. He's got teleport up again now. So he just get as much distance as he can. Get some cover. Alright, this is good. He can, he can totally just take his time here. Recover. And he's back in the fight. Really nice disengage there from Mar. But there are lots of players close by. That's what it means. We've still got 13 players in this lobby. Ow Neko. Ow Neko switched class. Ow Neko switched class. He's gone for Stone Shaper. What? I mean, he is, as I said, he's one of, he's one of the best in Asia. He's just showing his flexibility here. But it's just interesting because he just always uses Tempest. He sees an opponent, he sees an opponent, he sees someone's right there. He puts up the fireball to get some damage in there. The opponent knows he's there, gets the fireball, but he is taking damage as well. He immediately takes damage as well himself. And the stone, the boulder, doesn't take, get the damage. Predicted shot, but the opponent is on the other side and he's the one taking damage. This is really close, but look at that. Look at that precision with the fireball. And now it is just a one shot on either side. Who can get that last shot? And it is our Neko. That was so close, ovulating ostrich. Got our Neko down to one hit. That fireball! When you thought Al Neko, I thought he had the advantage of that fight, but you can see Oscillating Ostrich was just able to keep getting the damage out, and I'm sure Al Neko did not think he would be pushed that hard for that fight. Great fight there by Ovulating Ostrich, and a great fight by Al Neko to come out on top. In these small houses, you can see how the fireball got really good value there, especially the fireball, drawing out the opponent. And then just the AoE, just predicting where the opponent's going to come out, and the opponent not being able to fly away. One of the biggest weaknesses of the fireball is that if they get up in the air, it becomes really hard to hit. You need that wall, or that roof, or that ground, somewhere to for the fireball to hit, to really get that AoE damage out. Oh, it's really great seeing that fight in the enclosed area from two great players. Alright, let's see if there's any fights happening elsewhere. It looks like Lon Mize is fighting. He's got his eyes. He's got his ice, and he is going to be... Oh! Look at that. Look at that precision. The one hit. Oh, is it third party? I think it's Zico. Zico took out Weehee, and now Lord Mize is trying to get the third party, but Zico pushes him back. Zico is on the attack here. Zico is pushing him back after being third party. But maybe it was just a temp... Yep, it was just a temporary... Just enough to get a space so that he could run away. Now he is probably using his toxic cloud just to pull, this, pull back. And Lord Mize, he wasn't... He wasn't bloodthirsty enough to go for the kill there because you can see Zico put out that damage in a really short amount of time. And if Lord Maze had missed another Ice Lance, that it would have been the end for him. But you can just see how at this level that initiating, that Ice Lance, the initial Ice Lance means so much. If you can land the initiate with a big Ice Lance, the opponent is really put on the back foot. And that is what Lon Maze is now is aiming for again. But he's been jumped on, he's been jumped on, and he knows he can't turn around and get the damage out, so he just hides, he's just, he's just out of there. But he's only got the, well I shouldn't say only, he's got the stealth, because he's using that in, in conjunction with his toxic class to get out of there. But this is really interesting, The past, there's a lot of passive plays here. There's a lot of passive plays of not chasing for the kill. And I guess at this level, as I said before, if you start fighting and it's a long fight, then other people will come and third party you very quickly. Alright, now he's being chased by Chunsuke actually. So Chunsuke is here chasing Lon Mize. Let's see if he sees him. Now Lon Mize is already up and out of there. But Chunsuke, I think that's Zico in the distance. Zico with his with his signature Keymaster skin. Now Lon Mize is somewhere nearby. Lon Mize is somewhere nearby. Chunsuke, oh he caught the firewall dash just immediately into a boulder. That was great prediction by Zico. And there is multiple people here. We've seen the kill feed. Al Neko is killing full metal. Al Neko takes out full metal in the kill feed. And Chunsuke is taken out by E-Boy Slayer. Wasn't Zico? It was E-Boy Slayer. This is just so insane. So many good players in one lobby. 
And now the Chinese player, the Dark Master of the Wind and Sea is taken out. By Ao Neko. Ao Neko. He's on three kills. He's on three kills. He's taken out full metal. He's taken out the Dark Master of the Wind and Sea. Is this Stone Shaper? Is this the true power of Stone Shaper? Is that what we are seeing now? Alright, we still have seven people in this lobby. Alnick with three kills is really... He's, he's putting his claim for the top spot here. Let's have a look. The Hadalon Maze. He got out of a tricky situation before. And seems to be still in a tricky situation. He got 15 hit points. Is someone chasing him? Did he get out of there? He seems to be out again. Lon Maze is really just escaping by the skin of his teeth multiple times here. Okay, e -boost. Oh, Miss Zero! Miss Zero is still in this fight. Look at this. She still hasn't got the upgrade to a light that she wants, and that's why she's being so passive here. At this stage, you really want a stronger lightning. You really want to... But she is not holding back. Look at her put the damage on with the, <laughs> with the shockwave. Great engage there, but she is taking damage herself. How does she play this? She wants to land that lightning. She misses. Oh no! Was that a hit? No, it wasn't. It was a hit with the lightning strike, not the, the lightning bolt, not the lightning strike. She just doesn't get the reset on her rune, so she's back. But she's being chased, and the AoE damage from the fireball is enough just to whittle down her life. And how is she going to play this? She's able to disengage with that big boulder. The opponent's still right there. Narrowly misses with that shockwave. But yeah, there it is. But no, it's Al Neko that takes her out. Al Neko! Takes out Miss Zero! Another great fight there! You can see Al Neko using the air to the advantage to, against the stone shaper of Miss Zero. And I think Miss Zero was just hampered there by her gauntlet in that situation. But now Al Neko seems to be surrounded. He's got four kills but he seems to be surrounded here by multiple players. We have at least three people in this close vicinity. Let's see how he plays this. He has the stone and he has the fire. He's going to want to play ground-based as much as he can, but even with fire, he is a master of the fire, so he's not going to be disadvantaged at all. But it's interesting, he seems to be playing very ground-based as opposed to his usual play. He gets that shockwave immediately, switches to lightning and gets that cost. Look at that tracking. Look at that tracking for big damage on his opponent. The opponent was out of there. When he knew that he was caught by that lightning, he knew he had to get out of there fast, and he did. I think Al Neko has lost sight of him, but no, and it's here, Fireball vs Fireball, the opponent uses a really early, really early shadow step, and Al Neko is able to track him. Al Neko is able to track him, and it's now still on the, look at that lightning, that tracking, Al and again, early shadow step allows Al Neko to track him. Oh, did he? No, I think he lost it. Oh, the snipe, the snipe, and it's another opponent. How does Al Neko play this? He knows his opponent has full armor now. But he's not phased, he's not phased, he knows he can go for this fight, he's got everything he needs. Look at that damage from Snow Stavik, that rhythm, he's just outplaying his opponent there with the stone shaper, with the shockwave, and look at that timing, oh, the opponent narrowly dodges with another shadow step. Why is everyone using shadow step? I think you know why, and Alnigo takes out E-Boy Slayer. Just that precision, just that patience using those shockwaves at this high level, he is able to get kills with it. That is amazing to see. Just in combination with his fire, if you're up in the air, you get a fireball. If you're underground, you get a shockwave. It's beautiful to see. Alright, five people in this lobby. Lord Mai is, is back. He's back to full. He's still got, he's got an inventory full of potions and armor sh shards as well. So, after all these scratches, after all the damage he's taken, he is still in the front seat. He's still got a good chance to get this. Now Petsu, we haven't seen him much. Let's watch him. You can see he is watching others in the distance and sniping with his lightning. Doesn't get any damage there. Gives away his position. But I think the L players are far enough away to not really want to engage upon his position. Now he switches to Fireball because he has two he has two targets right in front of him. He could get a kill here. If he could No, oh, he doesn't get any damage on. He had a good chance there to try and get some damage on, but he didn't want to reveal his position. But from behind he is now attacked. The opponents just seem to be ignoring him, but they have other fish to fire, and it's Petru just hiding so well that he's able just to not... The other opponents don't, don't target him. Look at him, the master of hiding. The master of disguise, Petru. He's playing this so well, he's just letting everyone else fight. He doesn't need to fight, he says. Oh no! What is this? Ow, Neko! 
Oh, it's kill on my, did a kill on mines. Oh no, he's up to seven kills. And now it's only Petju and him. Let's watch from the top of the mountain. Tries to get the shockwave down. Doesn't hit. Petju's up in the air. The lightning to instantly get damage on. But they are still high on armor. This is nowhere near the end of this fight. Look at that. The fireball to the face. And they both pull back and get some distance. Petju is up in the air. The fireball misses. Those fireballs in the air are so hard. Petju is noseless. And he's looking at him staying up in the air. But look at that. The damage immediately switches to lightning. Gets some damage. And Petju is now trying to pull back and get some distance. You can see our Neko here is just lighting up the field, getting as much fire in the ground as he can. Look at that! As soon as he's up in the air, and Petju can just shoot a fireball down, and that's it. But one fireball versus a lot of damage from the lightning. You can see our Neko is in the box seat, and now he is up in the air, trying to get this last hit on Petju. The boulder narrowly misses. Petju sees it, he's up in the air, but as soon as he's up in the air, he gets the lightning. This is the pattern we see. Petju cannot get the win. He cannot get the win here. He is. He's out. Our Neko with the. How many was that? Was that eight? That was eight kills, I think. That was an insane game by Al Neko. That was insane. Let's jump in. Talk to these guys about that amazing game. Hey everyone! Hi. Al Neko. How many kills did you get? <laughs> Hachi? Eight? That was an insane game. But even at the beginning, like, names, who was it? It was Ovulating Ostrich and Al Neko. You had like a, you had such a close battle at the beginning. It was like a one, it was like one shot each. That, oh, that was insane. All right, guys, you have a, uh, Maybe 10 minute break? Chucha, Jupuna Kuke. Hi. Ni Hairimas. Jupun. Jupun is that? Mama. Ano, ju, ju, goju, goju go ni shoka. Oi. Juji, go, goju gopun. Ni, mata, shugo shite kudasai. Ja, everyone back here by about 10.55. We'll get into game three. All right, so you heard that we're going to be having a little break here. Uh, stay with us. We'll be back for game three. I'll try to get the scores up if I can. I've got 10 minutes to do it. Wish me luck, guys. Uh, all right. As I said, it's a one-man show today, so sorry for, sorry for all this. We'll jump here. All right, so yeah, 10... 10 15 minutes, come back here and we'll have game three.
All right, is everyone back? Yeah. Anna is mm-hmm. pretty ahead, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a little. Exiles oh. count for a lot. Exiles, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it is, I don't know, like like you said, if one if you have a good game, you can easily catch up, hey? And in that last game, Al Neko and Ovulating Ostrich, they had a seriously close fight right at the beginning. Yeah. Like, it was only one hit away. Yeah. That would have changed everything. Yeah. All right. Um, I added 69 damage. Just thought I should mention that. Oh, uh, sorry, is there a mistake? No, no. I was making okay. a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, yeah, we I'm need more of them. <laughs> Alright, Nihonji no Senshi, Mina Moro Tiru Kana. Mas. Tiru? Eu. 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 でも同じ同じようにあの第三試合でみんなを殺せばいいって話です。<笑><笑>ちょっとあの間違いがあるかもしれんけど、<咳>でもまあとりあえず暫定的なスコアがこれです。では、Does anyone know Does anyone know the Uwe guy? No, no idea who he is. Probably a sniper. He killed me. <笑> he killed a lot of people. Yeah. I had this very honorable fight. I think it was against Petu, and then he came in at the last second after I won it and killed me. <laughs> yes, I saw that. That was disgusting. Oh, <laughs> oh, fair play, though. That's what I said on the screen. Yeah. I, I thought he was one of our players, one of the Zico's friends. But... All right. Alright. Right, so everyone, let's jump in the lobby and get game three underway. I'm going to go to the lobby. Go, go, go. Is this the boss one? No, no, this is game three of the tournament, so do your best. Oh, okay. Which is the final one in which the score is counted. Alright, Ju Ninin. No lobby. 12 people lobby, 13 people lobby. The game is on in one minute. My body is ready. <laughs> yeah, I, my body is not ready, I thought. <laughs> You're still half guys. asleep. Yeah. Today was super tiring day for me. Yeah. It's Saturday. You still have tomorrow to recover. We'll have another tournament tomorrow for you. How's that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a festival tomorrow. I don't know if I'm celebrating that. Cool. All right, the game is starting. Good luck, everyone. All right. Oh, shit. All right, we're back on. Uh, with game three starting in five seconds. Hope you're enjoying it. Again, it's a. I apologize for the one man one man stream doing a lot of things at once. But as I said, hope you enjoy it. And uh, in the chat, make sure you cheer on these guys. And uh, there's a lot of people who stream, so make sure you follow follow the streamers as well. Even on uh, Twitter as well. I'll put the playlist with this dream and SNS details up again at the end. Because this community, I mean, it's still small. It's great to uh, support your fellow players. And here we go. Off into the void. To begin game three. Now, uh... Hang on, did we? Did I just see a kill? I think Zico, Zico took out Ovulating Ostrich right out of the bat. 
Now this is something Zico is known for, being really aggressive on the drops and getting kills immediately. This is, oh my god. Zico already with the kill. Yeah, like, even in my games at home, sometimes you'll drop in, it's just Zico there. I'm sure other people have had this situation as well. You drop in, it's just Zico, and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, next game. <laughs> but yeah, even at this high level, you can see Zico not being afraid, not being afraid to drop right next to people. And here watching Miss Zero, she switched skins. She switched to the bug skin. <laughs> I think it's her and Al Neko that love this bug skin. If you're on the Asia server, if you see a bug skin, yeah, run. <laughs> She's playing Pyromancer now. You can see her using the firewall to get that dash the fire bug. And she is already looking for a legendary item. Let's see what she gets. It's always exciting. Opening Christmas presents. Ding. Hey. A little bit of an upgrade. Can't be, can't be unhappy with that. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's any action happening. We've got a 13 people lobby, so a lot of randoms seem to have left, and it seems to be just a lobby mainly of our players here. You can see Lonomize running this toxic. Toxicologist seems really popular. Toxicologist. Haven't seen any uh, Frostborns. Haven't seen. I've seen a Stone Chip. The only play, people playing Stone Chip was Al Neko in that 8 kill game. I wonder if anybody realized what class he was playing. They must have. Let's see if anyone's copied him, because Al Neko's back to playing Tempest now. Oh, it looks like Mar is in a battle here. Mar is in a battle. He's got his Ice Lance out, but he only has a common on his win. It's using Tempest, so he's a bit at a disadvantage here. He'll want to stay nice and nice and wide and keep using his ice, but the opponent is coming in and the toxic is right at him. But look at that precision. Even under that much pressure, taking out the damage. Oh, the damage. He's getting attacked now. There seems to be multiple people coming in. In the kill field, we see Nameslay is taking out Miss Zero. Chinsuko taking out Zico. Oh my god. And now Ma is under attack. Let's see who this is and let's see if Ma can escape. Oh, and the kill field, I can't be able I can't believe we missed Miss Zero and Dave Slays and Zico. Oh, this game is already underway. We've seen some big names like Zico being taken out. All right, Ma is still running. Uh, he doesn't. He he has potions. He has armor shards. He just needs to find a. He just needs to find, like somewhere he can hide, because the opponent is really staying on him. Did he think he does? Oh, but in, oh, the opponent was right above him. He tries to get the lightning strike down on him and you can see just in the top left hand side of the screen the stealthed opponent. I don't think Mara is safe here. I don't think Mara is safe here. But he is. He's getting off his armor. All right. Let's see if we can find his hunter. Is it Petju? No, Petju is on his own out here. He seems to be doing a good job of treasure hunting amongst the villagers. Chinsuke is off in the corner of the map as well. Who are the fighters here? Is it Blue Mortal? Blue Mortal seems to be amongst the castle. About so he might be just above Ma here. No, no action coming on here. All right. Let's stay with Knave Slaves for a bit. Knave Slaves, she saw on the kill field, took out, took out Miss Zero. And he is stacked in terms of items. He's got legendaries. He's still looking for that upgrade to his, to his Tempest, to his Wind Gauntlet, but it feels so bad when you can't get that upgrade to your class Gauntlet. Let's see if he can get something. Because he's looking good. He's already got a kill. He's already got a kill and he's going to want to use this to just gain some confidence. Because he hasn't really produced the result that he would have wanted. He's a much better player than what he has shown today. But again, up against this kind of caliber, this lobby, I mean, there is no one here that, that couldn't kill you in a second if you had your back turned to them. It is a really stacked lobby today. All right, we he see here the mask, dark master of the wind and sea. Did he see someone? He's playing very passively here. May have seen someone, so he's just staying atop of the tower. All right, so we have a bit of a lull here at the moment. Let's have a look at full metal playing his tempest. 
Now in the central area, we saw blue mortal was here just before. Let's see if players will start converging on this central area here. Yep, it is Fort Helsian. It's not quite in the center of the map of the circle, but you can see how players are all in this general vicinity now. And you can hear off to the distance the sounds of battle. Full Metal seems to be going here towards them. He is. You can see off in the distance there a fight happening. And it is. It's Ma and Blue Mortal fighting. Ma and Blue Mortal fighting. Let's switch to Ma to see if he is able to able to knock it attack. Let's see if he can get out. He can. He can. It doesn't seem to be under attack. So he gets the kill on Blue Mortal. And now he is able just to loot and get ready for the next battle. Ma has got two kills. Ma has got two kills. He is doing really well this game. If he can just get a couple more, he might be able to catch up to Al Nickel. Now, uh, the current standings, I don't think I showed them to you, but Al Nickel got a big lead in that last because of that last game. Eight kills. He has nearly doubled the scores of other players. So if anyone wants to catch up to him, they will need to get a big score and they will need to take out Al Nickel early. Let's see if that happens. Let's see if we can find our man Al Nickel. Oh, hang on, we got a fight happening. Lon Mize is under attack here. He's got flight as his rune. Let's see if he can use this. But no, he's just staying in there. He's got the opponent low. He used the poison, but he doesn't want to get. He doesn't have. He's just not bloodthirsty enough. He had the opponent low, but I think there were multiple people there. I don't think it was a one-on-one -on -one there. And Lord Mize just took, just made the decision to get out of there and fight another day. And here we see Al Neko sporting his tempest. Let's stick with him. The current win. The current uh, first place participant here in this tournament. You can see he sees the opponent, he sees the opponent. The opponent is not aware. How does Al Neko approach this? What will he engage with? He's got ice. He's got a legendary ice. If he can get a hit with an ice lance on the engage, it basically seals the fight. A big hit first up with the ice will basically seal the fight and it might be Lon Demise here. He misses! He misses and the opponent is now alert of his presence and immediately a second charge of flight Lon Demise uses to get out of there. Was that a misplay? Or was it just Al Neko not really going for the kill? He just wanted to scare the opponent away. Oh, in the kill field, Ma gets a third kill on full metal. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not getting these fights. Ma gets full metal. And no, Ma has an opponent now facing him in this tower. And Ma gets up, gets the ice lance down, misses, but he is just constantly moving. Not being a target to be hit. The ice, look at that. Look at that turn and ice lance. Just like that. He is so skilled at doing this. Just just a fraction of a second turning and being able to aim. He is a master of this ice lance. His opponent. Where did his opponent go? I don't think Ma knows. And I think the opponent may have just, may have just gotten out of there. After Sigma just turn and shoot like that, I think the opponent... Oh no! The opponent there is hiding behind the tree! And you can see Ma sees it! Ma sees it! This is a pet you! This is a pet you! He loves hiding behind these trees! Oh, but then he's up in the air and he is now engaged upon! That was a great engage by the other... by the opponent and Ma is now on the back foot! He tries to turn and just... just... just get the ice lance out! But he doesn't able to have... he's not enough time for this moving opponent... There's not enough time for him to get an aim on this moving opponent! Bit of a lull, they both get their distance. It seems to be that Ma is just aiming for that snipe, but the opponent really gets up in the air and comes down on you on that moment when you don't expect it. Great play by his opponent there. And Ma, I think, was lucky to get out of there relatively unscathed. See Petra here, just on the edge of the storm here. Doesn't seem to be a tracking anyone, so we'll switch here to Chunsuke. Chunsuke is in a fight. Chunsuke is in a fight here. Poison is coming up, but he's able to dodge it. Tries to get the fireball down, but the opponent is out of there. And look at that, just dodging around the corners of the building. But Chunsuke, with the better engage there, gets a lot of damage on. He's a down low in the ground, but where did the opponent go? Would the opponent give up the high ground? Seems to be the opponent may have just gotten out of there. And Chunsuke, because he did not immediately follow, now has lost sight of his opponent. Chunsuke is using this time just to... Get back up to full armor. Here we see a lot of passive, a lot of passive plays in this game. Petru and this Chinese player just on the edge of the circle there. Knave slays as well here. Knave slays can see people fighting. He is on the edge of the circle, but too, he doesn't want to get surrounded. You don't want to get surrounded. You don't want to be in the middle. And that's what these players. That's what these players are doing. Knave slays. He sees someone, does he? He sees. He sees the. He's, does he see? 
there's a player down there on the right hiding just in the castle, but no, Knave Slays, I don't think he's losing. Knave Slays us now. His target is far off in the other tower. I think he does see him. He does see someone down there, doesn't he? He's aiming for him. There must just be, just the, just his ass must have been sticking out. That's all he, but he was able to hit it. <laughs> Names, slaves, getting that. Oh, and look at that. He knows the environment. He's able to get around and he's able to put on the damage before the opponent can recover. That is an insane kill by Names, slaves. Look at him using the environment. He knew how to get around and behind his opponent. He got the damage in so quickly. The opponent had nothing. The opponent could not do anything. He was basically trapped in that small area. My God, that was great. Knave Slays getting a kill on the board. Alright, the Dark Master of the Wind and Sea is up in one of these towers. These towers are probably where the final fight is going to take place. You see a lot of people just pushing around here and Lord Maze is down on the ground. He is fighting for his life. He still has a little bit of armor left. But who is attacking him? You see the fireball from above. Lord Maze is just, he's just reacting here. He's just reacting here. The opponent is putting fireballs down. And Lord Maze doesn't seem to be able to turn and attack. He's just taking the approach of just getting out of there. And he's got he's got this he's got the tools to do it. He's got his stealth, he's got his poison toxic cloud. You can see Lord Maze is really liking this class. He's really liking that stealth stealth rune with the toxic cloud combination there. And it's just given him the survivability whenever he needs it to get out of a sticky situation. Live and survive again. Our Neko here. Now our Neko, if he's smart, he will be playing just the passive game. He just wants to get points to get up. In a relatively high standings, he doesn't need the kills. He just needs to survive long enough to get enough points to cement his place in, in the number one for the tournament. But he is under attack. He is under attack here. And he is staying very close to the storm, at the edge of the storm here, just to try and not become a target. But now he sees the opponent. Look at that ice shot. Look at that ice shot. Just sticks his head from around the tree and gets hit by an ice lance. But now he is under attack. Is it Chinsuke? I think it's Chinsuke's skin. So now he is going to have to fight for his life here. He's, there is no getting out of this. This is a great place to fight, just on this plateau here. Look at that ice lance from in air as he's falling. And the follow-up damage. The follow-up damage is real. That is insane damage. The ice and then the follow-up wind. Is... I don't think anyone uses wind as good as Alnek at this moment. Just that the hit rate. He just uses that fire rate on the wind gauntlet just to get so much damage out in a short amount of time. But now he is, he is now, he's done all he's needed to do. He's now got the others fighting against each other, and he is content to sit in the storm and wait it out. Ma! Ma is now here, very low on life. Very low on life. How does he play this? He is hiding. Who is fighting? It's Petchu. Petchu is on the attack. He's got his fire and he's got the opponent low. He turns and backs out, but because there are multiple people fighting here, he doesn't want to be in the middle. Who is in the middle? It's Chunsuke. He never takes a step back, this man. And you can see him. He is the aggressor. There are multiple people around him, but not are fighting him. Oh, he gets taken out by Ma. How many kills does Ma? He has four. Ma gets taken out. You can see in the small area, it is just third partying. Who can get hit? Who is going to get hit? Nobody knows. If you stick your head out just for a moment, you have a chance of getting taken out by isolates, by anything. It's that kind of a battle of who can hide and who can not be the target instead of who is going to be the aggressor. Here's our neck or being the aggressor for a change now, getting the ice lamps out, getting that wind. Look at that again, the hit rate on that wind gauntlet is amazing. Our neck does it to get consistent damage, then follows up with an ice lamps. This combination is beautiful. How does he do it? The tracking on the wind and then the ice. Only a skilled player could get this. And look at him, he does it again. It's like he's using a lightning gauntlet, but no, it's a win. Just to get that damage. And look at him, he is hunting. He is hunting. In the kill feed, Lord Maze takes out Petru. And now Al Neko is using all of his gauntlets to try and get more kills. He misses with the lance and he is now on the run. But poison is toxic as prey is coming for him. But again, he's not scared of it. He just puts right back the damage with the ice lance, with the wind gauntlet. Is he going? This is the last. It's two. It is. It is. It's Al Neko with another kill, with another win. This man is good. He can't be understated. Did you see him switch just from defense to offense just like that? That was beautiful. Even in that small space, he used the environment to his advantage. He just used everything to his advantage. Just knowing when to switch from defense to offense. And I don't know, just that wind combination with that ice. It just seems like the opponents, they couldn't it's do anything against him. This. All right, let's go to our players. Mm -hmm. Otsukaru-sama deshita, GG!
ちょっと強すぎませんか強い、えーまあ、2試合目はちょっと<笑>ちょっとあれはちょっとあれはちょっとあれはちょっとちょっとあれは目が変わったんですね強すぎた<笑> Alright, F1 スクリーンショットをアップしてくださいねちょっとカスタムやる前にもう計算してしまいます。ちょっと待ってくださいね。えー、OK。So, just before we do the custom, I'm just going to quickly score, get the scores up. Just so we can see our winner. Shouldn't take too long. Right, just make sure you get your screenshots in, guys. Yeah. Oh, Ma with four kills.、Mm. Yeah, his knives were deadly. That was insane. Okay. All right, nearly done. Just want to get the result out before we do a little wind down custom game. The custom game is voluntary, no one needs to stick around for it, but yeah. Frostborn only, is it? Yes, so class of Frostborn there, Chio Kano Gon Atega Frostborn. Atua. あのアイテムとか自由に使って。はい。ああ、right. uh,。ええ。I think that's everyone. Hang on, blue model. Okay. Nice. Okay. We're doing this all ice custom. Yep. Just to take this. I、uh, got the. Got the results.、Mm -hmm. I think we all know who won. <laughs> <Yeah> . True, <laughs> true. You got to see who's second or third, but you know. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, Full Metal and I were like the victims of Mars Knife in the last match. Yeah. <laughs> all right, just posting it in the.、Uh... In the, screenshot, in the screenshot channel now. All right, so we have our results. Out of digital cocking in, so good enough. Just I'll go back over the scores just to make sure it's right. But yeah, so for today's winner, we have Ao Neko san. Congratulations! I told you, I was. Yeah, that's overwhelming victory. <laughs> right, so go cut that up. All right, and in second、uh, place, the little, 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 little. Oh, it's Lawn Demise!、Oh, Congratulations! Yeah, yeah. So, nice, Lawn Demise. It's like in Sonny, you have to die in this. So, go ahead. Are you sure our neighbor has only nine exiles? Uh, game because,、uh, like, the last match he had like two or three exiles, I think. Last match he had one, first match he, he had, had none.、One. Okay, ah,、oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, the last game, yeah. Um, and anyway, yeah, third place we have let's see if I can get this right six, six, eight for Ma. Ma, third place, congratulations. Hi, thank you. 
Man, that was close. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'll post these up on Twitter and stuff later on. Uh, Zico, Zico, I don't think your friends have their screenshots. If you want to post them to me after. No, oh, they don't want. Oh, they cool. don't want to upload a screenshot. Yeah. Okay. Do you, Zico, I think you didn't upload all of them as well. I think might be missing one or yeah. two. Yeah. I'm a fucking noob. I missed all the damage screenshots. Yes. Yes. <laughs> If you find I recorded them. them in case. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so actually, anyone watching the stream, actually, we're going to jump in and do a Frost Only game. And anyone's welcome to join. There's a three minute delay, so oh, shit. might want to jump in. Only, right? <laughs> so yeah, so Frost Only custom game. The rules are your class is Frostborn. And yeah, I accidentally chose. You can. Sure, but I need to back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just take. So yeah, Frostborn class, and then the gauntlet, you can only use Frost. So if you pick up another gauntlet, that's fine, but only use your Frost gauntlet. That's class of Frostborn. Frost and a gauntlet, duck it, scatter good as I. Look in a gauntlet, more hit up this month. You want that job, yak it up. And scout away, Frost to the gauntlet, duck it. Nishimasho. All right, so yeah, who's going to become the Frost Master? Let's you do it. Ah, I'm going to put What's got to say, my dear? Better sound. So, so it's, this last one's voluntary, now, voluntary. So anyone, everyone's welcome to leave. We'll just have a. Everyone's welcome to leave after this. You don't have to come back after this game as well. Jam, we'll call it a Kaisan Shimasu. Or custom game ga ni sanka ga ni nande. これで落ちる人落ちてもいいし。あの、はい、お疲れ様でした。ありがとう。参加してくれて。いや、アルベブレイクスケーティングアウトヒア。プレイングワッツアイ。ライクディスプレイスイズオールレディーライクスケーティング
really, I mean, participating in every mm. tournament, participating in events, community events, just really keeping the scene going. So only ice column, is that supposed to be the rule? Yep, that's the rule. If you see any, anyone not using only ice, just shoot them with everything you got. Focus them down. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, where am I? I might just, uh, I might just jump into the fracture, so no, that you can see you. other people fighting. Oh, <laughs> there is a fracture down here, isn't it? Yes, there is. All right, they're fighting already. All right, let's spectate these guys. So again, and if any of you guys aren't in the, the yeah, Asian community well, Discord, uh, please jump in there. In the Discord, we have yeah, like we have community games, community events. Um, there's, so there's the Asian Discord, and there's also the Japanese Discord. The Japanese Discord is actually probably more lively. We have like an English channel as well. The details should be on my Twitch page, or uh, if you follow me on Twitter at Takasan JPN, you can get all those details. So yeah. So at the moment, we're just having a custom game just to warm down after the tournament to decide who is the Frost Master. Uh, the rules of the custom game is that you choose Frostborn. As your class, and you can only use the Frost Gauntlet. So, it'll be interesting to see who is the master of this knight. Because <laughs> you saw in that tournament before just how, how many of these players use Frost, almost depend on the Frost Gauntlet. I mean, that last fight you saw with Al Neko, it was just that. Oh, did Ziko nearly jump, nearly fall in the fracture? That would have been beautiful. You can see how Al Neko just used that frost for the engage and then the win for the follow up. Just do so much damage. Put so much pressure on the opponent. And here's our champion. It's Al Neko. Using the ice skates. Going treasure hunting as you should. <laughs> it's only eight people in here, so there's a lot of room to get that. To go treasure hunting. Blonde Mize, our second place, our second place placer in the tournament. It was great to see him too. He, as I said in, after the game, he's been away from the game. What game? He plays, what is that, Kurt Spell game. It's been hard to get him on, but when he does, you can see he is a feast. He hasn't lost anything. It was good to see him get second place. Is our third place still in the lobby? Oh, hang on, Miss Zero was under fire there. Alright, Miss Zero is under fire. She is fighting for her life here. She's got a legendary frost. She doesn't want to give this up. She uses invisibility to reposition, get behind her opponent. The opponent doesn't know where she is. Can she do this to her advantage? No, she's still playing a bit passively. The opponent now is right in front of her. She doesn't get that hit, that hurt, but no! Names! Names! Slaves with the third party on full metal. Full metal had nowhere to go. She's either going to be hit by Miss Zero or by Name Slaves. <laughs> now can Miss Zero get out of the way? No, she can't. Name Slaves gets another kill. Two kills to Name Slaves. He's one step closer to becoming the Frost Master. <laughs> so yeah, just whoever gets first becomes the Frost Master. Just a fun... Just a fun custom game here, guys. I do apologize for not announcing it sooner so we could get more of you guys in there. Let's see Chinsuke. Chinsuke seems to be under fight. He seems to be under pressure here. He's up against a bug, it could be our Neko. It's oh did those ice I think the ice lanes just hit each other. Oh my god, they're using the purple bee. <laughs> it's not a gauntlet, so it does go by the rules. Look at that. These players are insane. They end up using the purple beanie against each other. 
<laughs> at this distance. They're just not getting a hit. They're not getting a hit against each other. This is insane. The movement of these players. And it was Alan that got, that got the final hit. <laughs> you can just see how important is that movement and not getting hit is in this game. It's more important than, than hitting your shots, I think. Just being able to move in a way that the opponent can't hit you. Now Al Neko is very close to Londomize here. I think he knows where he is as well. Let's see if one can get the jump on the other. Ooh, there you go. Oh, he tries to get the hit. He misses, but that was a difficult shot. But now I think we have multiple people. We have like these three or four here. And I think Lord Mays, he had a chance there. Oh, but he, cop he cops the shot. He just stood out there for those too long. And he's the one that has to go back. But he might be running into Al Neko. Al Neko is hiding amongst these houses. And I don't think Lord Mays knows it. He is now... A <gasps> he is able to get out of the way of that one. But he is between a rock and a hard place now. He's got nowhere to go. Lord Mays has nowhere to go. He tries to go up. He doesn't make it. Oh, he does get halfway up. He's now able to get all the way to the top. He's able to have a breather. Take an armor shard. All right, the Frostmaster. Who will it be? We still have five people here. We have Knave Slaves with two kills on the board. You can see. Look at this. Oh, he gets the hit. <laughs> he gets the hit. Oh my God! Did you see that shot? Did you see that shot? The opponent was in the air on that tower, all the way over there, and he hits it. Oh my God! The skill of this man. That was insane. Let's see if he can get another one. Look at this. <gasps> he gets the hit on Lord Maze from that distance. Name Slaves is a god. If he doesn't become the Frostmaster, I don't know who else. Because that was some insane plays by Name Slaves with the Frost. That was insane. The shots he was hitting. And that last on last to get the kill on Lord Maze was brilliant. What was that? His opponent... Disappears, comes back. Was it Chrono Master, was it? Oh! Name Slaves, he gets the damage and gets out of the way of the incoming shot. He's a master. I think he is the master here. Let's see if he can get this kill. It's at this distance. It's really hard for both players. You can see Name Slaves just choosing to go back, but he gets a, he gets damage. He takes damage for that play, trying to get that distance. Oh! He gets the hit. He managed to get out just in time, and he takes down Sicko. You can see the, how they were playing that. They were ducking back and forth, trying to get the... Trying to get just that window of opportunity to shoot before getting shot. And now Nave Slaves is close. There's three people left and he deserves this Frostmaster for the skills he is showing today. Alrighty. Now who do we have? We have the Nave Slaves. We have the random... I don't know who that player is, but it's Al Neko. It's Al Neko. He's got a kill as well, so... Let's see if Al Neko can third party and get this win and become the Frostmaster. <laughs> He does get the shot on oh, Name Slaves, I think it is over there. This is this is kind of sad. I'm kind of cheering for Name Slaves here. I don't want Al Neko to get the third party win. I think Name Slaves knows he's in trouble and just has to get out of there. He doesn't know where Al Neko is, but so he's just choosing his direction and running. And I think he's safe. I think he's safe. I think he's safe. And the other player as well is just out of there. Alright, so we have a bit of a lull. Oh, Al Neko sees his opponent. I don't think the opponent saw him, but he used Shadow Step just in time to get out. But no, Al Neko was able to track and see. Follow gets the follow up with a half, with a half charge for Ice Lance. And look at the distance. Look at this distance. He gets the. Oh, how much damage? He takes the armor off. He takes the armor off. Al Neko gets frozen and gets his armor peeled off him. But now they are both very low. Only one full Ice Lance would seal the kill. Oh, but no. What was that? Was that a purple beam? No, it was just a slightly charged Ice Lance. And it's enough to push him away. Both opponents now take a breather. Neither wanting to go in for the final kill. It is great to watch, hey? Just two Ice Lances. They're both charged. Who's going to hit first? Will, he, will they have enough time to get out of the way of the incoming one? This is great to watch. Right, Al Neko posturing down low. He doesn't move far from his position, so the opponent might know where he is. But I don't think he knows where Knave Slays has gone. Let's have a look, see if we can find him. And we can. 
So he's amongst the houses as well. They're both using the environment, the buildings to cover. Look at that, turns and sh tries to shoot, but he gets shot. Alnecker with the outplay there to get Knave Slays down to very low. And now Knave Slays is running. Look at that. He is able to predict the timing of the Ice Lance to know when to move, when to dodge. This is the skill of an Ice Lance master, but no, it's Alnecker with the kill. I shouldn't say oh no, but Alnecker got the kill. But Knave Slays was showing some amazing Ice Lance plays. My heart, my heart. <laughs> All right, see, so Alneko is no fighting against this guy for the last, <laughs> for the first place, but it's not a participant. So we'll just watch Alneko take out this guy, hopefully in style. Hopefully in style. So the opponent here is not part of our, not part of our tournament. So he might use some poison, some toxic, and other gauntlets. There we go. <laughs> what will Alnek do? He's only got the eyes. But I don't think he feels hampered at all because look at that shot. Look at that shot. The opponent just shows an opening just for a second. Oh, but no. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Alright, guys, that wraps up today's stream. The tournament goes to Alnek. And Alnek also gets the Frostmaster. Surprise, surprise. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. So, as I said before, it's uh, the tournament's over. The players, uh, are just free to, to leave or to keep playing. But I want to say a big thank you to you guys for watching the stream and cheering on the players. <laughs> it's uh, as I, as I keep saying, it's a community-based. All these events are community-based, and it's great to have such a good community. If you haven't joined the Asia Spellbreak Discords, definitely do. You can find all the details in my Twitch info, or follow me on Twitter at uh, TakasanJPN. It's been fun casting. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time.